looking around because someone has sent the N word and I don't know who it is. I don't have time for you. I don't have the time. But nobody thought that she thought that I was plotting against her. Why y'all got to lie? Hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, subscribe. If you like this video, like the video and comment down below what you guys want to see more of from me. So if you didn't already know, I go to boarding school in England and I've been going to school in England for like two years and I got some stories. So today I'm going to be talking about some things that have happened to me in boarding school you know some funny stories and everything i basically took this idea from my friend temi because she made a video and i was like huh that's something i can talk about as well so picture this year 10 we all walk in there's a lot of new people in the boarding house everyone is oh so young and fresh and no so that is what we thought guys that is what we thought so at the beginning of the year like september we were all kind of friends, like everyone was friends with each other, no one was mean to each other and we were hanging out with these two girls a lot we're gonna call them Brandy and Nike so I'm still very good friends with Brandy but Nike started to, you know, bring some madness so unfortunately, well, fortunately Anymore. The first thing that was off about Nike. So we have another friend called Balenciaga. So I'm pretty good friends with Balenciaga and I had been friends with her for a year. And it's not like acquaintance friends, like she's my actual friend. So come, I don't even know when this was, like October, November, December. I don't, I don't really know. But somehow along the line one day after dinner me and brandy had to go get something from somewhere else we had to go get something and then brandy was like oh yeah by the way nike thinks you're plotting against her friendship with balenciaga <laughs> and i was like girl this girl thing against who i don't like and I was so shocked because I was like, I thought this girl was my friend and now you're going behind my back and telling me that I'm plotting I'm plotting against your friendship with someone I've been friends with What? What? What are you talking about? So yeah, she was saying that I was plotting against her, you know, all of that shit and then I was like, you know what, whatever, I'm just not gonna be talking to her as much since she wants to be talking behind my back and saying that I'm plotting against her friendship so I told Temi and we were all we were like mm, mm, like where where did that come from apparently Temi could see was thinking that it made sense but yeah so we were all just like uh sis are you okay come a few days weeks or whatever Nike starts to say that Tammy is also plotting against her that we've been plotting against her from the beginning we don't want her to be friends with Balenciaga and I'm like like I don't care if you're friends with Balenciaga because everyone knew that her and Balenciaga were friends but nobody thought that she thought that I was plotting against her when she brought Tammy to the mix this is when things started to get a little bit confrontational so one night we were in the boarding house Tammy decided that she was going to go and confront Nike I came into the boarding house like I was in my room and I just came out and I was hearing Tammy and Nike on the stairs and I was like what's, what's going on here what's going on here so Tammy was trying to catch her in the light because she was like, why did you say this? Why did you say this? Like she was being fast with it. She was like, um, 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 um. And it's like, so why, baby girl? Why? What was the point? What was the point? Why am I, why are you lying on my name? This is when sis started to play the victim. Every day, crying. 
crying in the office, crying in the common room, crying in the dining room. We're all just like, can you calm your tics, please? You did understand why she was crying all the time. It was just like, you were the one who started being a pathological liar, baby. She would start talking to the housemistress and stuff. And the housemistress was like against me and Temi and was believing her. And I was like, so then me and Teddy started talking to more of like the black people about it and they were like something's not added up here sweetie and Nike started talking about Balenciaga the thing that Balenciaga told her that she has an eating disorder or something and I was like she's known you for two months she wouldn't tell I think I'm mixing up my people here okay Okay, we're gonna add a new character in here just for leeway because I don't really know who I'm talking about right now. It's either Nike or Tom Ford who started that Balenciaga was anorexic or had an eating disorder or whatever. And we're all just like, girl, Miss Girl, if it was anything, she would have told one of us. Like, I mean, if they were close, whatever, but we knew that wasn't the case because we went to ask Balenciaga and she was like, I never said this shit before. I don't know what y'all talking about. Then Balenciaga was getting a bit with her. Then Nike started talking about me to Brandy. Basically, Brandy told me. She was like, oh yeah, I think Ori is talking about me behind my back. She's plotting against me. She's doing this, she's doing that. I was like, baby girl baby girl i'm in school i gotta read my books okay i wasn't really reading books but i don't have time for gay i don't have the time unfortunately i already was it does not have the time but anyways that issue was that issue you know what this is just gonna be a whole talk about nike no okay if you're watching this video i don't know what to say i don't know what to say really I'm just speaking what I was feeling at the moment. So if you want to start beef again, this was all going on. We started to notice a pattern in her lying. She would just lie about all these things and it's like, Miss Girl, Miss Girl. Like she was saying that she was dating this guy who was verified on Instagram. We went to the guy's Instagram, he wasn't even following her. I don't sense. Why y'all got to lie? Why y'all got to lie? I just hit an Ariana Grande note, bitch. Like, why y'all got to lie? Like, she was like, yeah, my boyfriend has three million followers on Instagram. Yeah, da 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 was like, new girl. TBH, that whole thing was just like funny. It wasn't really like drama, but it was fun. I remember one time we called her out on her lying. She was like, the law of Islam does not permit me to lie. And I was just like, but girl, you are not. Mm -mm. Our other friend, Tori Birch, <laughs> is Muslim. So Tori Birch went to go ask Nike and she was like, Oh, she was asking her about her religion and stuff. She's like, no, leave me alone. What's <laughs> like, girl, we going to Islam? We going to Islam? Girl, we going to Islam? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh God, that was safe. Oh, nay. Then one time, oh, this one time, I was in the bathroom. And they didn't know, I don't know why this girl was in my room. I don't know why this girl was in my room, but she was in my room and she was on my bed. And then I was in the bathroom and I could literally hear her talking about me. I stayed in that bathroom for a good 30 minutes. I was just like. She wanted to ask, me to sleep over in my room and i was like thinking i was like no i didn't tell her yet because she hadn't asked me so i was in the bathroom and i was just sitting there watching her say yeah but or is not even gonna want me in her room or doesn't want me in her room like her and temi don't want me anywhere near you and 
that like they're trying to they're trying to pull you like brandy away from me and i was like girl if you want to go sleep over in her room do what you want but don't baby girl do not come to my room thank you and to all my black friends who are watching this video all my black subscribers anybody who's black who's watching this video let, let's just remember Nike is not black girl said yes Number one, like this is like maybe in the first weekend, like when we were still friends, and I, I, I feel bad for not pulling her out. We were in someone's room, and someone played some rap song. I don't know, and it had the N word in it, and I didn't even say the N word. I, I, a black person, a Negro, did not say the N word in the song. And I'm just looking around because someone has said the N word and I don't know who it is. The N word comes up again. Who was it? Nike. And then I just gave her a look. I was like, obviously, she didn't realize, you know what, whatever. Move to the next one. This was when I was like trying not to be friends with her, but I wasn't like telling her to get out of my room or anything. I was on someone's live. And I had my phone on the table and we were like reading the comments and someone said, someone who was black said this n-word said, this n-word really just dot 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 because the person who was doing the live was black. I don't understand why she felt the necessity, the need to repeat this comment. She was reading the comment, she was like, yeah this this nigga this nigga really just said this and i looked at her and i just walked out of the room i said to tell me i said she just did it again she don't do it constantly raising the bar for us all so that happened and i didn't even say anything like i just i don't like confrontation but best believe when i come back to school i'm confronting every one of y'all hoes quarantine has made me very confrontational very bitchy but it's fine and then so basically in boarding school you have this thing called exia where you can like go home for the weekend like if you live in the uk or whatever or you can go stay with like a friend or whatever whatever so she and this other girl that we're gonna call pretty little thing nike and pretty little thing were on the same train back to the town where our school is from london I don't know why again she felt the necessity, she felt the need to say this. Apparently she said, and I quote, <laughs> nigga, like, why? Why though? Why? Like, what? I don't even know what she was doing, but in any case, she should not have been saying that rubbish. Basically, that's the story of Nike. I really don't know what the point of this video was. I just wanted to... You know, ever since like three days ago, I've been feeling like I've been talking about people too much. But I'm just letting my feelings go. I'm detaching from all the negative energy in my life. Yeah, that was basically the video. If you liked it, like it. Comment down below what you guys want to see more from me. If you want to see more of these types of videos of me talking about boarding school, I might make it a series might not why not and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i love you if you do that and don't forget to follow my socials because they'll be around here somewhere and in the description thank you guys so much for watching me talk about my boarding school experience with liars and n word sayers who are not black Thank you and see you in the next video.